Have everyone coming in, flash over, Xenoblade in, seal the daybreak, Bukati gets a good flash, the cat not able to get himself away, perfectly done there by R7, and Kati goes down for first blood. And that's exactly what we were talking about for R7. Get this Leona involved, play for these uh, opportunities. I have a bong from a flash, but is he baiting in? He is! He had Miru off to the side, and R7 are starting to punish Gam. Fantastic roam from Miru. They thought he'd reset. We even called it. He's probably going to go back after picking up the kill, but Miru sticks around in the lane. She's already reset. She's got the advantage Level of the push, but here we go. Level 6 has been hit, and there's nowhere for you to hide. There's nowhere for you to go, Katsi. You've already used the Glacial Path. You've already used your Flash, and it's just a matter of who picks up this kill. Is Miro 2-0-1, and one. and R7 have come out the gate swinging. And this see them now go all out. The Counter-Strike is good, but not good enough. Sidestep from Katia. Do they look to try and fully engage on this? The sun is good. There's the Heartbreaker, but Pong does not need it. And R7 are literally winning in every lane. And this he takes that one in, they're gonna look to try and burst him down, the cleanse is only gonna stop one of them, and R7 just punishing left, right and center. So didn't even have a chance. I mean, I don't even know if he was in the window shop because he didn't get to move regardless. And now R7 again, three kills. As the Zion, this kind of matchup, but now the knockback is good. The tower for the assist, the solo bolo from Bong. And R7 are now 3,000 gold up. Yeah, I think Kiai is kind of feeling the pressure here. Feels like he needs to try and make a play and... He is wants it here. though, he wants to try and go for this one here, but he did not know there was a rest of the enforcements. Does get the ultimate off, but I think he's just kind of by himself for this. Will flash, but it feels in vain. Theo has joined. Style is here as well. Bong in with a teleport looking to try and make this one work, but he's being shredded down. Zin looking for another engage. Does not get the knock up. They get the Zen plate down. They've taken the Style and he's putting in damage. Style is still working forward as the Jax will pummel down Miru and they just get absolutely everything. Seo tries to save the fight, but it ends up going Gam's way. It is a very messy fight for more seven with nobody really sure which direction they're supposed to be fighting from. And Gam collapse. A bit of a flank. You won't have the Glacial Pass. They will catch out Levi and try and burst him down before he can do everything you know. Jungler, great capitalization from R7 as the fight can really start now. Style just trying to put in damage, but he's got nothing left. There's nothing there for him to do, and Miru's going to chase them all away. Soul point for R7. Now, Gam, you can't defend this. You have to leave. You cannot defend this mid lane tier one, and R7 are kind of getting everything there. It's going to be the land down there. Everfrost gets turned back, and I don't think Miru wanted that. Yeah. Or seven, as long as they don't overextend, but Adi might. Oh. That sweeper was huge, but they're going to fully commit to him anyway. He's unstoppable in his ultimate, but can he go down? Yes, he will. They've invested a hell of a lot. They will have the TP from Bong. And how do they follow up onto it? Levi finally gets himself the Cyclone off. They pop down the exhaust. There's a good Feather Storm to draw them all back. But Style wants the 1v1. It's a 4v4 in that top side as they try and make this one work. It's all going Gam's way. R7 are not having the advantages and they're falling apart. It's all gone sideways for R7. They couldn't quite find the fight. V3, I should say, as they do get themselves a little bit of CC down onto Miru, who does steal away the Lissandra Ultimate Cyclone going down the backside, which means Audi cannot get the resets. Miru going back towards his turret, but he's already dead. Double kill coming in for the Jacks. A lot more damage off the back of that with Style coming in on the Zeri, and this is just bit by bit, momentum by bit. They still have 30 seconds on the Baron, and without Miru, there's not really a lot of skirmishing power here, so with a massive wave, they could break open another inhibitor. Or 7 are Good route down, that's a great solo flare there onto Style, who finally takes down the Leona, the Cyclone in, as Levi just kind of helps set everything up on a silver platter. Adi cannot get the refreshes, he cannot get the restarts on these fights, and Bong is left on his own, so everyone's going to be there for the side of Gam. Zaya, they do get a bit of a stun in, they go in, but there's just too much damage. Style's not here though. Style went way too far away from this fight, and now you've got Kiaya finally joining in. They're gonna jump back onto Lissandra, and the Wukong are dead. Style gets caught. R7 found the one opportunity, and they take everything from Gam. How in the hell did R7 manage that? He wants to go for a little bit more. They're kind of half engaging right now, but they may have caught themselves a little bit of a fish. Levi's gone down. They're gonna look to Kiaya, who has to go gold, and Style trying to see if he can do something, but now he's been jumped on by Bong. They will lose themselves another one, but before the Jax goes down, he takes down Seo. Now Bong looking at 1v3, will stay alive. There's the Zonyas there from Kati as he looks to try and keep this one going for his team. Style is going to put himself over the wall. He's still going. He's still got the damage. And Style
Gamsdale is doing just that. He's styling on them. Gamsdale alive, a flash away. Finally gets taken down by Bong. But can he survive the rest of this? Because if he goes down, it would be all for naught for R7. Bong needs to get to the defense of his team because the Super Minions are actually taking the base. Yeah, he needs to get back. He needs to try and clear this out. Stunned up, so he's not putting out any damage for the moment. He gets his ultimate down as Levi will be going down very, very shortly. They've gotten Zin off of this. Look at these health bars. They're so, so low. The Dragons confirm for R7. They get that extra boost of damage in this fight. Gam have nowhere to go. They're trying to see if they can get anybody dead, but they just can't do it. And it's going to be everybody falling down. The only one left is Style. These fights are so chaotic. They're so spread out. You can see them splitting off into these multiple skirmishes, but R7, can he clear the wave? It's gonna be so close. Here we go, they're gonna get the clans off him, but he gets knocked back immediately. Now they get the stasis out of him as well. They need to CC him out, but Style's still alive. They can't put the damage down. Finally, he goes down. Seo finally getting himself that kill, and it looks like R7 have done it. R7 will survive the storm that was Gam. Seeing if he can maybe look for a bit of a fight. Katsy already taking so much damage as those rocks start to smash into that ice, chipping away at its integrity, but if they can get Katsy out, that will be the big thing here. Flash in, first blood, they lose the dragon, but they gain a kill. After the end of this, Bong goes in and gets himself taken very low and taken out. They will get a kill off the back of it, so it's a one-for-one -one trade for the moment. Seo is here, style nowhere to be seen. Everyone's running away, but Gwen has already made her way down. Oh, they're going to try and cut them off here as Katsy goes in, trying to see if he can catch on to Seo, but has to use the ultimate on himself. Those root was huge, stop Levi from going in, and Zin is already so close to death. He will, however, get himself out, and now the Gwen has joined the fight. You see Style and Seo kind of going in for a little bit of an 80 carry 1v1. So you can go for it! Nice flash from Seo means he gets the kill. And now the rest of R7 feel comfortable to keep pushing forward, keep looking for the damage and the DPS. Well, we're going to see him now live as we can see Levi looking for that kill on top of Miru. And the bunk down. You were not supposed to still be here, Miru. Nope, uh, we'll end up paying for it. Go for an engage, Xenoblade does land, it's onto Zin though, there's a secure on the Rift Herald. Now, do you want to go for the fight? It looks like Gam too. They get the quickness down onto multiple members and it's going to be Leon's who goes down straight away. They're trying to go for some fancy feet there from Seo. He gets exhausted, so he's not putting down as much damage as he would like. Doesn't quite get away and he gets shut down. It's all just a little bit scrappy in R7, like you said, very hesitant and they get punished. And for R7, the problem is that they don't have a front line if they don't have Bond there. He's stuck, he flashes away, there's going to be a Xenoblade landing on top of him, which means he has to use a stopwatch. Both TPs going to be coming in at the exact same time, the quickness from Zin, but you're rolling straight into a choke point. Can you get the Cyclone down? Seo flashes and Gale forces right out, they get Leon. It's pretty damn healthy, I will say. We'll get all out in, all in, Bong with another solo kill, this time on the mid laner. That ain't looking healthy anymore. Bong doing a fantastic job there, interrupting the glacial path with the all out to make sure that there was no way for the Lissandra to escape. will not see him go down just yet though, and there's plenty of damage putting in. You will get the Weaver as well to try and separate this one out. And now Seo looking to see if he can do a nice flash to catch out everybody else, and they will get styled. Now Zin, nowhere trying to go. He will be executed by the Heartbreaker. And what looks so bad for the side of R7, looks like it'll be going better. That being said though, the jungler and the top laner of Gam refuse to die. They refuse to let this one go. A rocket to the back of the head as Rock beats Scissors. And now you can see with Audi having a little bit more health, a little bit more damage. You can see Levi just trying to bait him out with the decoy. Finally, they see where he is. They're going to look for him and jump on the Miru. Will he be able to get the damage down? They're just kiting him back. He's got the spell shield to come in. The they got the ult as well. They get the kills and Gam stay alive. These team fights are absolutely absurd. The fact that Levi has the confidence to stick in the pit, but teaming up here in a 2v2. Actually, no, they stopped the TP, so it's a 2v1. They are able to stop the TP, and now they're going to be a 4v3 but they can TP back. They know they can save out this fight because it's going to be a 4v4. Immediately, Miro goes golden because he wants it as delay for time. There's a Cyclone in his Miro tries to keep himself alive, but he will go down. But before he does, he gets knocked back. A good exhaust from the Seo means that he's not putting out the real damage. The Zenit Blade misses. And now Seo's in so much trouble. Flash in. The Feather's back. Doesn't get the damage down. The Katsu who goes golden. And now Seo, he's running for his life. He needs to try and get some Feathers down, get the autos, but they're coming in on top of they're him. They're going for him, but Seo is massive. He will finally be taken. Taken down, but he's taking as many with him. A Bong is still getting the push in the mid lane. They need to now reset his gam. They're too low. Audi and Bong will be able to get this mid lane tower as a result. This mid wave, we'll see an engage coming in straight away as Miru kind of gets caught out. It looks like they're going to be bursted down. They get them down there. Style is just putting in work on the back side. And Gam found themselves an opportunity. Style now looking back for that 1v1. Kati though moves back in onto the AD carry and says it is no longer a 1v1. Make sure you can actually get it because Kati. Oh, Kati will die, which means the game will not end. They will get themselves. Infernal Solo, and I think Seo.
Kyo has kept the game alive for Rainbow. I mean, you gotta be careful. Kyo is still gonna push in, wants to try and go for the base. I don't think Sale can really go against. By Gam! And then the fight is all theirs! They will not be losing this series in this game, and they wanna send us to three! Wukong's portrait popping up, cause that was a photograph finish on the end of that Baron. Or a seven scatter to the winds as Gam. Been slowed down a flash in, and the kill is secured. Oh, seven are on the board, and now Zin doesn't really have a place to go. He's gonna try and see if Miro can get on top of him, but he's just based a little bit more damage on top of them from the thing. Oh, he's very, very low here as Kati might look try and go for this one. We see a flash away at Bong getting dove in the top side. He's not gone down just yet. Levi will be traded. And they're looking to try and get this dragon as quick as they possibly can. Five and a half minutes on the clock. They will miss the Winter's Bite. And now R7 looking to try and capitalize on a nowhere to be found at Lissandra. And then the knockoff is fantastic. They're capitalizing on all of the missed summoners. And you can see R7 smell blood in the water. They know this is the perfect opportunity for them to get everything and anything they want. Gam were too slow on the rotation. They get the crash in mid, but they hadn't started up the dragon or seven correct the waves and say, hey, look, we've actually got the opportunity even catching Cassie walking directly into Adi and Miru. R7 once more control this early game, but it's a much bigger lead this time. Would really not want to use it this early on. We'll get flashed in straight away. He can't even proc it. That's how quick he was killed. I am so surprised that R7 managed to pick up a kill there. It looked like Gam were going to be able to walk out of that. Even the fact that Bong investing the flash there to pick up Looking for a dive, there's the ultimate out, already at a style, and they're gonna be able to, ooh, it's a little bit of a mismatch, but they should be able to get the damage, no problem whatsoever, and Seo gets the kill. Bong might be also on the menu here as well, they're looking to try and go on top of him, there's a good explosive cast, and he belly bops himself away as well, the flash in, Levi will secure that kill, one more tower shot, and it's a deja vu in the top side, one for one. He's been killed there before, Kiaia will get it. He's gonna be able to trade back a little bit better. Yep, that's gonna be a cleaner dive from the side of Gam as they go back in towards that mid lane, almost getting down Miyuru. That's a good it's a 3v3 though for the moment, and that's not a numbers advantage anymore because you have the Keeper's Verdict. There's a Lamb's Rest Fight to keep everybody alive. A flash forward from Zin to try and do a little bit of disruption, but they're getting themselves all the damage they need. Lions is the one who gets exhausted, and that's not what you need. Goes in with the knockup. They're looking to make this one a little bit more favorable for the side of Rainbow Seven, but it's just not quite got the damage. Seo has to go towards that top lane to cover for this Jax, who was continually putting down the pressure. The fact that they managed to turn that around though, Miru should be able to pick up a plate off this as well as the Levi oh! has to run it. Seo! Got the kill onto Kiai. Seo gets jumped on, trying to flash away, but the Lamb's Respite should keep him alive for the moment. A little bit of CC with the concussive blows, and R7, you had everything. He gets the dragon! How is he allowed to do that? Audi keeps it just going a little bit, but Gam have been given a huge lifeline. It's the team fights again, going the way of Gam. R7 all over the place. Audi sees him, Audi sees him though, and they're gonna try and jump onto Audi as well. They're gonna see if they can get on top of him. He will go straight away though, he's very, very tanky. They're gonna try and try 3v2, but now it's not a 3v2, it's a 3v3. TP coming in as well. R7 are ready for round number two, as they look to try and finish off these kills. Double kill coming in for Miru, and they'll finish off the Jax as well. The Kindred away, which means there's no respite for you. Style has the flash over the side, he jumps back in! Levi with the steal, keeps Gam in this, but can they survive the fight after? That's the question. The Lamb's Respite will be just that, a respite before he falls down. And now Miru looking for style, see if he can do it, but the concussive blows are too damn strong. It's still very healthy, they haven't killed that one off just yet. They're still trying to kill off the Kindred, and they will. Style gets the Immortal Shield, but Proc still has the shielding, and Style stays alive. The turret finally goes down, Bomb goes in, and will be taken out on the backside of this fight, but Seo is here with the rest of his team. These health bars are so low, and Rainbow, they may look for the end. Can they find the pot of gold at the end of this? R7 trying to see if they can find their first win Style. in the best of. Style looking for a Nexus turret number one down. Can they go for Nexus number, number number two? They've got the minions for the moment. They still have Baron Buff for a couple of seconds. They need to try and make sure they keep everybody alive, but they've lost to Lissandra. Now it's down onto the Zeri. Style needs to keep the VS, VCS in this fight, but I don't think they can 